Let me solve the first problem in the bearing type bolt. Calculate the value of a bolt in a lap joint used to connect two plates of 12 mm thick of 410 grade in the following cases. First one is grade 4.6 B, second one is grade 8.8. .8. Here they ask to find the bolt value of the bolt it is used to join the plates of 12 mm thickness to make a lap join the one plate is lapped over the other the grade of the bolts are given as a different for two cases but they did not mention the diameter of the bolt used so to obtain the nominal diameter of the bolt before assuming the diameter instead of randomly assuming the diameter I will use the unwinds formula to get the uh, unwinds formula is the empirical formula to get the idea to choose the diameter of the bolt that is nominal diameter of the bolt d equal to 6.05 into root t where t is the thickness of the plate here uh, the thickness of the plate is 12 mm if they have mentioned the two plates are used of different thickness means we have to use the lesser thickness here. So, it is around 20 mm let me assume the di nominal diameter of the bolt as 20 mm then the diameter of the hole the diameter of the hole is little greater than the nominal diameter of the bolt that is called the clearance normally we will use the standard clearance the standard clearance value can be obtained from the table in the code the table is table 19 which will provide the clearance for standard holes in on page number 73 see the nominal size of the fastener the fastener may be a bolt or rivet here the diameter is 20 mm that is in between the range of 16 to 22 for standard clearance hole the clearance is 2 mm has to be added to the nominal diameter to obtain the diameter of the hole so the diameter of the hole is 20 plus 2 22 mm so, first we will calculate for the grade 4.6 bolts. Shear capacity of the bolt is VDSP equal to FU by root 3 N and A and B plus NS ASB into gamma MP. This formula is obtained from the class 10.3.3 page number 75. Shear capacity of the one bolt, that one bolt is the bolt value. Let me see the formula where it is provided in the code page number 74 75 vdsp equal to vnsp by gamma mp where vnsp has a this formula i will write directly vdsp is equal to fu by root 3 n and a and b plus n s asp into 1 by gamma mp where fu is the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt since we are using 4.6 grade bolt the ultimate tensile strength will be 400 if we use 8.8 .8 grade bolts in the say next case that will be 800 because the first term 8 into 100 will give the ultimate tensile strength for 4.6 grade bolts the 4 into 100 will give the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt where n n is the number of shear planes either it may be n n or n s if the shear plane cuts at the threaded portion means we can take that as a n n if the threaded portion cuts at the shunk portion means we can take that as a n s since here we are making making a lap joint placing a one plate over the other connected by using a bolt of 20 mm diameter there is a possibility of occurrence of shear at only one plane that is we are having only one interface in between the plates so there is a possibility of occurrence of shear at is shear is at only one plane therefore n is equal to 1 next we have to assume that whether shear plane is passing through the threaded portion or shunk portion if it passes through the threaded portion means we have to take that as n is n n if it is passing through the shunk means we can take that as a n s because we are having two types of bolts partially threaded force fully threaded bolts on the safer side 
we will always assume that shear plane is passing through the threaded portion therefore n n equal to 1 n s is 0 ok. So, n n equal to 1 n s is equal to 0 I am assuming that the interface is at the threaded portion ok. Then a n b is the net area of the bolt 0 0.78 into pi d squared by 4 here the diameter of the bolt is 20 ok. Gamma m p equal to 1.25 this value is obtained from the table 5 page number 30 that is the partial safety factor for the bolt both for field fabrication and soft fabrication gamma m p is 1.25. Now we know all the values in this equation substitute that values then the f u is 400 by root 3 n n is 1. A and B is calculated as 0.78 into pi d squared by 4, N s is 0, the, therefore the whole term is 0 into 1 by ga, uh, gamma m p value is 1.25, the total value we got as 45388.045 Newton to convert that into a kilo Newton divided, divided by using 1000, you can get the value of VDSP equal to 45.38 kilo Newton. This is the shear capacity of the bolt. Next, we have to calculate the bearing capacity of the bolt. To get that bearing capacity of the bolt, we have to use the formula T D V D P P equal to 2.5 K P D T F U into 1 by gamma M P. Always we have to use the F U values minimum of the plate and bolt. Okay. If we use a 4.6 grade mean grade bolt means strength will be ultimate tensile strength will be 400. For plate 410 among these two least has to be used at this first case ok gamma mp is as usual 1.25 obtained from table 5 page number 30. Kp is smaller of e by 3d naught comma p by 3d naught minus 0.25 comma fub comma fu comma 1 to substitute the all the values in this expression we need the end or edge distance e and pitch p. As per class 10.2.4.2 edge resistance E equal to 1.7 D naught. We have two formulas one is 1.5 D naught which one has to be used I am always assuming that the plate is having sheared edges that means the plates are not smooth. If it is smooth means we can provide less edge resistance as per 1.5 D naught. We can not ensure at all the times on the safer side I am assuming that the plate is always having a sheared edges therefore I have to use 1.7 D naught. D naught is the diameter of the hole here that is 22. 1.7 into 22 will give you the value around 37.4 mm. So that is the minimum value required as per the code either I have to use the same value or use higher value. So let me use the E value as 40 mm then minimum value for the pitch P is equal to 2.5 nominal diameter D. D is 20 mm so 50 mm. It is already a rounded value. Let me use that pitch P equal to 50 mm. Now I will substitute the value of E, D naught, P, D naught, F U, B, F U, 1, all in the expressions to get the value of K P. So I got the four values 0 0.606, 0 0.507, 0 0.971, 1. Among these four value least is 0 0.507 that is your K B, K B is smaller of 0 0.507. So that is your KB. Now you know the value of KB. Substitute this value in this expression 2.5 KB is 0 0.507. Nominal diameter D is 20 mm. Thickness is 12 mm because among the two plates which are is having the lesser thickness that has to be used here. But uh, luckily the both the plates are 12 mm thickness here. I am using 12. So 400 then into 1 by 1.25 I got the value of 97.344 kilo Newton. This is the VDPP value least among these two values shear capacity and bearing capacity will be your bolt value of the grade 4.6 is 45.38 kilo Newton. By following the similar procedure I will calculate for the 8.8 .8 grade bolts same formula F u by root 3 and A and B and SASB into 1 by gamma MP. The difference is F u which value has to be used here since we are using 8 point grade bolt 8 grade bolts its ultimate tensile capacity is the first term 8 into 100 will give the ultimate tensile capacity of the bolt here that value is 800.
the rest of the values number of shear plane is 1 I am assuming that always it is passing through the threaded portion A and B is 0 0.7 into pi d squared by 4 rest are same gamma MP is also from table 5 page number 30 same 1.25 substituting all the values here with the corresponding FU of 800 I can get the VDSP values 90.776 kilo ton then I will calculate the bearing capacity of the bolt again the same formula 2.5 kp dt fu into 1 by comma mp this is obtained from the class 10.3.4 page number 75 let me show the formula in page number 75 see vd pp equal to vn pp by gamma mp vn pp has a expression so i will directly write vd pp equal to 2.5 kp dt fu into 1 by gamma mp kp is smaller of e by 3d not comma p by 3d not comma minus 0.25 comma fub by fu comma 1 so from this class 10.3.4 I have obtained this expression to calculate the bearing capacity of the bolt ok. So again 1.7 D0 I will use the same edge distance of 40 mm same pitch of 50 mm. So then I will substitute all the values in the expression 2.5 ok it is fine. Kp, Kp is I got the values 0 0.507 that is the least among the 4 values I will use them. Then D diameter of the bolt the normal diameter bolt given in the problem is 20 12 that is the thickness of the plate then coming to the strength which strength has to be put here the bearing has to be happen in between the bolt and plate the least among the two strength has to be used substituted here here the plate strength is 410 bolt strength is 800 so definitely plate will get P bear by due to bolt. So, I will use the value of 410. So, I got the value of PDPP is 99.7777.